Hello, my Asian minute peeps. We're back with another episode of The Goods. And The Goods is just some of my favorite hydrogen studies uh, and impactful ones, ones that I think are significant. And so um, on this episode, we'll be covering one of my favorite hydrogen studies. Um, and it's over uh, the disease model of uh, rheumatoid ar ar arthritis. And um, this study uh, uh, was published in 2012, um, October of 2012. Uh, and uh, it has some pretty significant uh, results. Uh, although the study is small, I think it is significant and it did um, help to propel some clinical studies that are going on uh, currently uh, with uh, with this particular disease model. First off, uh, the name of the study is Consumption of Water Containing High Concentration of Molecular Hydrogen Reduces Oxidative Stress and Disease Activity in Patients with Rheumatoid Arthritis, an Open uh, Label Pilot Study. Uh, and so, uh, these patients were consuming um, high PPM, high milligram per liter H2 rich water, uh, and uh, the water contained around 4 to 5 PPM of, uh, of dissolved hydrogen gas uh, in the water, and they drink about a half a liter of that uh, per day. And uh, the study was actually uh, three months long. Uh, they drank hydrogen water for, um, for the first month, and then they had a washout period the second month. Uh, and where they consume no hydrogen uh, rich water. And then they had another month where they consume this high PPM hydrogen rich water. Uh, and so that four, four PPM or four to five PPM um, in a half a liter will convert to roughly two milligrams to 2.5 milligrams of hydrogen per day for these individuals. And so uh, with that being said, we can go over some of the, uh, some of, some of the highlights um, and some really good nuggets that they found in this study. Um, first off, um, they wanted to investigate um, um, hydrogen's ability to reduce oxidative stress. And the way they did that was um, they did urinary tests. Um, uh, they did urinary tests on these uh, patients. And uh, they took, I think, two samples per day. Um, and they actually uh, measured a marker of DNA damage. They actually investigated or analyzed a marker of DNA damage. Um, and uh, after. Um, I think on average, um, it was actually 20 patients, by the way, I should have mentioned that earlier, um, that they were actually uh, looking at or um, doing the study on. And uh, they actually ended up seeing it about 14% uh, decrease in oxidative stress. Um, and they also uh, looked at another marker of uh, inflammation, uh, C-reactive proteins, and uh, they actually investigated that as well. And, and these markers were significantly decreased um, by the end of the study. One of the coolest parts of this study uh, was that um, these markers uh, continue to decrease during the washout period. And so these individuals uh, consume uh, um, hydrogen rich water the first month and did not consume hydrogen rich water the second month. And these markers of uh, oxidative stress and inflammation continue to decrease. There's actually a quote um, that I wanted to read uh, that I think is pretty cool. Uh, it should be noted that the influence of H2 on the disease activity and oxidative stress was, uh, was sustained even during the washout period. These continuous anti-inflammatory effects of H2 are observed with both uh, ACP negative and the ACP positive patients. And so um, it's pretty cool to actually see that hydrogen sustain these anti-inflammatory effects and anti uh, um, and the anti uh, oxidative uh, antioxidative um, effects uh, in these patients, and so this kind of goes back to hydrogen being a gaseous signaling molecule or modulator, uh, and it you know activates gene expression and continue to have um, residual effects even after you drink it up to weeks and even possibly you know months um, um, after you consume hydrogen rich water. So that's a, that's one of the cool points uh, in this study. Um, and then also, uh, one of the biggest things that stood out in this study uh, was that uh, there were five patients that were early diagnosed. They were within the first 12 months of them being diagnosed um, um, with, the, with rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, these five patients, by the end of the study, um, actually achieved re remission. And four of these five patients were symptom-free after the study. And so... That is, um, a, that's pretty impressive, uh, considering, uh, you know, these individuals, you know, only drink 
um, hydrogen water actually for two months uh, and, and just had a washout period. And so um, it goes uh, to show that uh, this you know, therapeutic molecule definitely has some significant therapeutic potential for rheumatoid arthritis and anti-inflammatory um, effects and antioxidative um, effects to the body uh, significantly enough to uh, uh, to actually, you know, um, help individuals re achieve remission um, in the study. Uh, and then we can cover the conclusion real quick. And uh, this is the conclusion of the study. The results suggest that the hydroxyl radical scavenger H2 effectively reduces oxidative stress in patients with this condition. The symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis were significantly improved with high H2 water. Uh, and then also um, a cool little nugget on uh, the conclusion of the full study. Um, it says, however, uh, H2 water is freely available and its benefits could be demonstrated spontaneously by observing the disease rates in people who regularly drink it. And so that's a pretty cool um, that's a pretty cool uh, excerpt from the from this study, um, considering that, you know, uh, hydrogen water is out here uh, available for everyone uh, to consume. And that one way um, one way that we can actually observe some of these benefits is is by actually looking at disease rates from individuals consuming this uh, today. And so uh, freely, uh, and uh, I think that's a really cool, um, I think it's a really cool excerpt from the study. Uh, but overall, this is a, a very impactful study. Um, it's one of my favorites, and and I think uh, and I think it was uh, definitely a study that was impactful for me to actually see the potential of hydrogen. Although it is a small study, that is still a significant um, uh, finding, uh, and uh, it uh, it definitely is a study that ended up propelling some. Um, some further research in, in this particular disease model. So uh, this study will be linked in the description uh, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.